What is going on guys, That Pro here, and today I have a pretty cool gameplay for you. It is a swarm gameplay on whatever map this is, I actually can't believe I actually forgot the name of the map. So, what you just saw was a really small intro, it wasn't really the best, but I'm working on getting it better. And this is take two of what I did, I really didn't make the title right, and I didn't really adapt to what I was trying to say, so you know, maybe I tried to make this one a little better. I knew that this one, the last one, really didn't make too much sense, so I just wanted to get straight down to the topic on how to choose the correct gaming computer for you. The only real way to get the best gaming computer out there is to get custom-built computers. You can make your own computer, that works as well, but custom-built is a really good way to get it, and if you're, because, you know, if custom-built is a way to start off. Made, pre-made, because if you... If you make one yourself, you could necessarily go wrong, and it costs a lot of money. And overall, you know, getting it from a company sometimes is a, is really the one of the best options that you could possibly make. I'll tell you the specs of my computer right now. I have an iBuy Power computer from Newegg.com. Newegg it sells a pretty decent amount of computers, and I'll tell you my specs right now. I have an AMD FX 4100 quad core processor that runs at 3.60 gigahertz. Not bad of a processor. I like AMD's processors. Installed memory RAM, basically, if you guys don't know what that is. 8 gigabytes of RAM, and it comes with an AMD Radeon 7750 card in it. I can run solid, some games at 250 frames per second. I could probably run, I think Minecraft's 250 frames per second, maybe even 300. And Gary's Mods 250. I really don't go all out with the computer. I don't really play Call of Duty and stuff on the PC. That's not my thing. But, you know, that matters. So basically, I'm going to go through what type of gamer you would be and what computer would be good for you. If you were a gamer that played Battlefield, necessarily you would want to get the best of the best. You'd want to get computers within the $600 to $1,500 range. Because Battlefield is a hard game to run on computers. You you know, you want to get the best of the best. You want to be in that advantage point. You want to be able to play the game the right way. You want to be able to have an advantage over other players that don't have the best PCs. You want to have that good ping. You want to have those good frameage. You want to have those good processors. You want to possibly have an AMD, a really good AMD processor, or even an i7 processor. I i7 processor runs at three hundred nine dollars right now, U.S. dollars right now. I don't know what that is in euros or whatever it is, but it's expensive. But if you want the best of the best, that's basically you know the way to go is AMD or that. Basically, if you want to be one of the Battlefield 3 gamers with the graphics processor, I recommend AMD or GTX. I think GTX is the better way to go. I think those ones will work better for you, and I just, you know, think that when you want to play Battlefield and stuff, you need to get the better processors, and yeah, that's basically that part of it. So, now down to the casual gamer like me that wants to have fun and play Gary's Mod, maybe a little bit of Call of Duty sprinkled in there, Minecraft, and all that. I don't recommend too much of an expensive computer you don't need to spend all that money i recommend going from the 500 to the 700 dollar point i think that's basically where you need to end it my computer was 699 so you know i was basically right there on the margin and i think that if you want to play casually you should have a computer with at least an i5 processor or some type of amd that runs under 200 dollars and I think that you should have a graphics processor that's pretty decent. Like mine, I have an AMD Radeon 7750 card in here, which is more than capable of running Gary's Mod. I highly recommend the Radeon series of graphics cards. Very good cards. It doesn't matter what you get. I, I think there's a 6750. I don't know the exact model number. But they're, they're all good. They're all good graphics processors, and they work for me, and they work for most people who have the Radeons. I know one of my friends that I uh, used to talk to on YouTube, I still watch his videos to this day, Ismal. He has um, the AMD series as well, and he plays Battlefield with that, and it doesn't seem to have, he doesn't seem to have a problem with it whatsoever, so I think I might just hop on Battlefield on my computer too. But if you're one of those casual gamers, just make sure, you know, you get one, you get one of the smaller type of computers. You don't want to get too big. You want to get some pretty good graphics cards in there. 
and you know you just don't want to go all out so yeah guys that's basically the tips i have for today also i wanted to let you all know that if you are planning on buying a computer check out newegg.com that's n-e-w-e-g-g.com that's where i bought my computer i think it's a pretty damn good website and i think you can get some great deals off there so guys remember to sub and like and i hope you all have a great day and i'll see you all tomorrow in my next commentary bye bye